welcome, my friends. Fireside Mystery Theatre is back for another fantastic and frightening round of live shows. We just had the premiere of our fourth season at the fabulous Bickford Theatre at the Morris Museum in Morristown, New Jersey. This episode is the first of four parts of a sinister back-to-school special called Sing the Old Alma Mater. Now, I know no one particularly likes the idea of going back to school after a long, refreshing summer. But believe me when I tell you, this is one crash course in suspense that you can look forward to each week. We take a deep dive into the world of a very peculiar old school and the various folks who roam its halls. Shall we begin? Good. Let's commence with today's lesson. Our show was recorded live on Sunday, October 1st, 2017. Better not be late for this class. But first, this episode is coming to you thanks to ZipRecruiter. Do you know what to do when you're in need of great talent for your business but short on time? Hey, you don't have to get lost in a huge stack of resumes to find your perfect hire. You just need the right tools, smarter tools. With ZipRecruiter, you can post your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards with just one click. Then, ZipRecruiter puts its smart matching technology to work, actively notifying qualified candidates about your job within minutes of posting, so you receive the best possible matches. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. You can find out for yourself for free. Go to ZipRecruiter.com fireside. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Fireside, Mystery Theater, and ZipRecruiter.com present Job Interviews from the Fifth Circle of Hell. Employers, have you ever found yourself in this situation? So, why don't you tell me a little more about yourself? Uh, I'm the one interviewing you for this position. Any hobbies, relevant interests? Excuse me? Where do you see yourself ten years from now? Uh, let's turn this around. I think I can see where you're going to be in the next ten minutes. Me too. I see myself sitting right where you are now, interviewing lowly job seekers. Are you hiring? Do you know where to post your job to find the best candidates? What are you doing with that measuring tape? Oh, I like to bring in my own office furniture. Don't mind me. Thank you, 75 inches. Hmm. You must know that it's people who make your business a success. The right people. Your office has windows, I hope. I like to get a little sunlight in my workspace, but not too much. Something on one of the lower floors, preferably. With ZipRecruiter, you can post your job to over 100 job sites with just one click. And ZipRecruiter isn't like other job sites. It doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them. Would you mind turning down the AC a little bit? Actually, a lot of it. Actually, just turn it off altogether. I get these headaches. Do you ever get just throbbing headaches like this? <sighs> oh, I bet you do. Over 80% of jobs post on ZipRecruiter get a qualified candidate in just 24 hours. ZipRecruiter has an easy-to-use dashboard where you can screen, rate, and manage candidates all in one place. Oh, is that right? Yes! And you can find out today why ZipRecruiter's been used by businesses of all sizes to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. And get this, as a Fireside Mystery Theater listener, you can do it for free when you go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Fireside. That's right, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Fireside. Post jobs for free and find the right talent to make your business a success. Oh, what was that again? He said, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Fireside. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash Fireside and you can post jobs for free. I see a real future for you, miss. Oh, don't worry. I would never fire you. I'll probably keep you on as my assistant. Oh, brother. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Fireside. That's right. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Fireside. Post jobs for free. Find the right candidate your business needs with ZipRecruiter today. Let none upon your lives have conference with the Prince Ferdinand, unless I know it. In this distraction, he may reveal the murder. Yon's my lingering consumption. I am weary of her, and by any means would be quit of. How now, my lord? 
What ails you? Nothing. Oh, you are much altered. Come, I must be your secretary and remove this lead from off your bosom. What's the matter? I may not tell you. Are you so far in love with sorrow, you cannot part with part of it? Or think you, I cannot love your grace when you are sad, as well as merry? Or do you suspect I, that have been a secret to your heart these many winters, cannot be the same unto your tongue? Satisfy thy longing. The only way to make thee keep my counsel is to not tell thee. Tell your echo this. Or flatterers that like echoes still report what they hear, though most imperfect, and not me. For it that you be true unto yourself. I'll know. Will you rack me? No judgment shall draw it from you. It is an equal fault to tell one's secrets unto all or none. The first argues folly. But the last, tyranny. Very well. Why imagine I have committed some secret deed which I desire the world may never hear of? Therefore may not I know it. You have concealed for me as great a sin as adultery. Sir, never was occasion for perfect trial of my constancy till now. Sir, I beseech you. You'll repent it. Never. It hurries thee to ruin. I'll not tell thee. Be well advised and think what danger tis to perceive a prince's secrets. That they do. Have need have their breasts hooped with adamant to contain them. I pray thee yet be satisfied. Examine thine own frailty. Tis more easy to tie knots than unloose them. Tis a secret that like a lingering poison may chance lie, spread in thy veins and kill thee seven year hence. Now you dally with me. No more. Thou shalt know it. By my appointment, the great Duchess of Malfi and two of her young children four nights since were strangled. Oh, heaven. Sir, what have you done? How now? How settles this? Think you your bosom will be a grave dark and obscure enough for such a secret? You have undone yourself, sir. Why? It lies not in me to conceal it. No? Come. I will swear you to it upon this book. Most religiously. Kiss it. Now you shall never utter it. Thy curiosity hath undone thee. Thou art poisoned with that book. Because I knew thou couldst not keep my counsel, I have bound thee to it by death. And seen. All right, hold it right there, please. Did I do something wrong, Miss Phoebe? I was quite pleased. Well, mostly pleased with your performance, Jack. So I'm the problem. What did I do this time? It's what you did not do, Amanda. Why didn't you perform the action that was so clearly indicated in the text? But this is just a rehearsal, isn't it, Miss Abbott? You were supposed to kiss the Bible, Amanda. The Cardinal just asked you to kiss the holy book he was holding out to you. Did he not? Well... Well, you just rebuffed him, Amanda. You withdrew in disgust. How can we as an audience be invested in what happens next in this scene if you are not But it's so dirty and covered in dust. I'm not kissing that. Well, can't we just get a Bible or another book of some kind that isn't so musty and dusty? Listen to me now. It was only after long deliberation that I chose the Duchess of Malfi for our school play this season. It was only because I believed that my students were advanced enough to rise to the challenge of such a complex and demanding work that I even dared to attempt such an undertaking. In just three short weeks, all of the faculty, as well as your fellow students, along with most of your parents, will be seated here, where I am right now, in the audience. We must approach the text with total reverence and respect at all times, even during the most seemingly trivial of moments. Am I coming in clear, Amanda? Yes. Now, Amanda, Julia, let us return to the top of that scene. And when the moment comes this time, you will place your lips upon that Bible. You do not know it now, Julia. But your end is near. You shall pay for your betrayal to the Cardinal. Not only do I want you to kiss the holy book, I want, no, I need, 
I need to believe that the deadly poison placed upon it has touched your very lips. Miss Abbott, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> like what, Amanda? Thy curiosity hath undone thee. Thou art poisoned with that book. Because I knew thou couldst not keep thy counsel, I have bound thee to it by death. Even by Jacobean standards, the play, The Duchess of Malfi, written by John Webster in 1612, is at times stomach-turningly brutal. Very dark and ambitious stuff for a group of high school students, wouldn't you say? But these are not your everyday high school students. They are the budding saplings meticulously tended to in the precious garden of one Miss Haley Ebbett, a pedagogue whose definition and standards of scholarship are unconventional at best, and perhaps scandalous at worst. There it is. That's the bell. Come now, my friends, let's make our way. A very unusual class is about to take session. Remember, if you really want to learn anything, you have to sit right up front and close to the teacher. This is Fireside Mystery Theater. And that concludes our episode for this week. Amanda was played by Casey LaForest, Jack was played by Michael Pate, and Miss Ebbett was played by Mary Murphy. A Play Upon Words, part one of Sing the Old Alma Mater, was written by Sylvan Sandivar and directed by me, Ali Silva. Fireside Mystery Theater is produced by Gustavo Rodriguez, Daniel and Rebecca Graves, and me for Fireside Mystery Productions. Jason Graves composed our theme music. Our musical score was improvised by Jason Taboric. Our sound effects designer was Joe Young. Our audio recording engineer was Ray Lanuza. Our technical director at the Bickford Theater was Louis Perlmutter. And our production coordinators are Dahlia Morali and Brontus Shane Orengo. Special thanks to Eric Hafen, Louis Perlmutter and crew, Michelle Marinelli, Jerry Ryder, and all the truly amazing staff at the Bickford Theater and the Morris Museum. Learn more about their exciting exhibits and events at morrismuseum.org. If you like what we're doing, friends, please take a quick moment to give us a rating and review on iTunes. It really helps us out, and your feedback means the world to us. You can rock out in a Fireside Mystery Theater t-shirt, hoodie, phone case, mug, notebook, sticker, or any of the other super cool items adorned with our logo. Go to the merch page at FiresideMysteryTheater.com and check out all the swag. And hey, you know, it's easy to find us on Facebook or to connect with us on Instagram or Twitter. Our handle is at Fireside Mystery. Looking for the kind of thrills and chills that only live radio theater can offer? Well, then the odds are in your favor with our next live podcast taping. We're playing some Games of Chance at the Slipper Room in New York City on Sunday, October 29th at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale now at slipperroom.com. Join us next week as the sordid past interweaves with the eerie present at the Cathedral School of St. Thaddeus. You'll start to learn how in our next installment, The Dormitory. Find it wherever you find your podcasts. This is your own Ali Silva. If you wish to make the honor roll, then you best tune in next week. The top of the class knows to mind the shadows. <laughs> <laughs>